Muhammad Ali, a champion role model who encouraged and taught me that wit, wisdom, grace, principle, compassion, courage, strength, fist, and feet can be honorable, constructive, entertaining, yet compete to defend and to defeat. Muhammad Ali is always a struggle for black men to be noble, principled, and the best. The reason God gave you your talents and skills was to put you to the test. You courageous endured years of noble, violent battles, failing health, and political social mess. So over the years, I hope you've heard God's word, and in Christ Jesus, your soul found peaceful rest. This ode is to the great Louisville left, who wittily charmed and spoke with glimmering poetic quips. Although some people bowed and weaved and tried to slip, your magical spellbinding words if heard and set. This ode is to the great Cassius Clay. Thank you for your courage as you paved the way. You became world champion when I was 12 years old. I look just like you, that claim I was often told. You were a role model and a crazy black man, a positive influence to an era that I didn't understand. The world crowned you champion when you won at Sunday Lesson Bell. 51 seconds into the start, many hearts dropped and many people yelled. Is it over? Is the fight over so quickly? How can that be? We went for popcorn. What happened? We didn't see. This ode is to the great Muhammad Ali. You truly floated like a butterfly and stung like a bee. While boxing, you danced and rhythmically shuffled as the love mesmerized opponents and fisticuffs scuffles. I am the greatest, was your fame held to claim. Dollar like for Patterson didn't see it the same. What's my name? What's my name? Your mouth and glove were saying, with repetitive inquisition and with each fifth tactical punishing swing. The southpaw Patterson began to weaken and lose before he could see that he was outmatched. And then he said, Your name is Muhammad Ali. This ode is to Muhammad Ali, the three time champion of the world. I understand some of the heartaches that made your stomach curl. Sometimes in cities forms the combatants are indefensible, if not timely detected. And in spite of witty, charming words, fifth, fame, and glory, life is unprotected. I would be remiss if I didn't say this. I sincerely hope and wish my works were on your viewing list. If so, I hope you thought my works were sound, and in them sufficient truth were found to refer to Christ's words, hope, love, and promise of eternal crown. It is always a struggle for black men to be noble, principled, and the best. The reason God gave you your talents and skills was to put you to the test. You courageously endured years of noble, violent battles, failing health and political social mess. So over the years, I hope you heard God's word and in Jesus Christ, your soul found peaceful rest. You were first crowned world champion after Sonny Lesson's defeat. You pass on. I hope to receive love, a robe, and the greatest crown at God's judgment seat. On that day, God will say to you, well done. You will stood the trials and tests. Through Christ, face a cure of joyful victory rest. Now, Come live forever and glory with me, the absolute glorious greatest.